So this is part three of the first settings to adjust in Reaper 7. And we're checking out the preferences. Now the next tab over here is the item fade defaults, which has changed a bunch in Reaper 7. We can still choose the default fade in and fade out sizes and the crossfade size over here, which still defaults to 10 milliseconds. But we can change it to any size we want. And for this video, so you can see it clearer, I'm gonna change it to 250 milliseconds. Just so you can see any fade in or fade outs or crossfades we make. But the default is 10 milliseconds. Then we can choose over here, the fade in and fade out shape, which defaults to this. Although my personal favorite is this option that fades in and fades out slower. But of course, you could choose any shape you want. And over here, we could choose the default crossfade shape as well which still defaults to this. But over here, we can decide what fades in and out and what crossfades. By default, imported media items don't fade in or out. And there's a reason for this. If we turn this on and we import a sample with a lot of transient information, like this kick and drop it, now it fades it in and fades it out, which makes this kick kind of useless as the transient is missing. So for that reason, this option is off. But if you want it on, just turn it on right here. Then we could choose for recorded media items, if they fade in and fade out or crossfade. If we turn this off and we record some audio, we don't get any fade in or fade outs on the audio item. But by default, this option is on, so we will. And it'll be 250 milliseconds, but again, by default, it would just be 10 milliseconds, unless you changed it. So now, if I record some audio, we get a fade in and a fade out on that media item. But we're not gonna get a crossfade, at least not by default. So if I punch in over here and punch out over here, watch what happens. Reaper created takes, so it'll go from this one to this one, but notice it doesn't crossfade along the way. It fades this one out and fades this one in, at least by default. So if you want a crossfade, just change this under recorded media items to overlap and crossfade. So now, if we punch in over here and punch out over here, It crossfades from take one to take two and does the same from two to one over here. These are crossfades. This fades out and this fades in. But again, this is off by default, so you won't get crossfades. There's one other option you could choose respect the toolbar auto crossfade button. If we choose this and the crossfade button is off, now we're not going to get a crossfade. It fades in and fades out as we punch in the audio. But if we want a crossfade, we could turn on auto crossfade and then we'll get crossfades. This crossfades into this one and this crossfades into this one. But again, this is all off by default as it's set to no crossfade. So if you want to choose it with the toolbar button or just choose it regardless. We could do that here, but it's off by default. And it works the same way with splitting our items. By default, it fades in and fades out. But if we turn this off and we split our items, we don't get any fade out or fade in or crossfades. It just splits the item. But by default, this is on, so we will. If we split our items, these fade out and these fade in, or we could choose to overlap and crossfade or choose it based on the toolbar button. And now it's gonna crossfade when we split our items. Now they crossfade, but the crossfade is off by default, even though fade in and fade out is on by default. And then finally, 
We have the fixed lane comp areas with only one option to fade in, fade out, and crossfade when we're choosing different comp areas or turning them off completely. But with them on, and they're on by default, when we're choosing different areas to comp, if we zoom in, we can see that they're going to crossfade by default. This area is fading out or crossfading into this area, which we can see right over here. If we zoom in over here, we see the same thing. But there's only two options to choose from. Either they fade in and fade out and crossfade, or they don't. But by default, they will. And the next panel has been separated in Reaper 7, which deals with looping our items. By default, all these options are going to loop. So if I drag in that kick drum and trim it out on this side, by default, it's going to loop. If we don't want that behavior, we can turn it off over here, and importing items will not loop. So if I drag in this kick and trim it out, it doesn't loop. Of course, we could always change it later by right clicking, go to item settings, and choose to loop it right here. And now it will loop. But if you want to change it by default, we could do it right here. And again, it's going to loop by default. And we can do the same thing for MIDI items, recorded items, and glued items. They're going to loop by default, but we can change that behavior in here. Now, because this topic is pretty long, I've cut it into four parts. Check out part four next. Bingo, boys, let's go.